Okay, we're back. We're at the money stage. Okay, so here we are. So we have we have three different options on this page. I don't know if you caught it. So you can have an access code that you purchased, right? They sell them in the bookstore. They're like cardboard cards. A lot of textbooks come packaged with them in the shrink wrap. It's like a, um, well, currently it's a red and white um, striped cardboard card. Or you can pay for it right now. Let's click that just to see what that looks like right so you can pay with PayPal you can pay with credit card and so on or let me go back see there it is um, you can type in the code you got from the bookstore or get this there's temporary access for 17 days without payment so you could access for 17 days up right which in this case would be up to September 16th the course at that point you're gonna have to have paid right either by getting the access code see from the bookstore or by credit card or PayPal okay so I'm going to click access code because I have an access code and I'm going to type it in I'm gonna pause this because you don't need to watch me type all right there you go and now there's no point in writing down this code because once a codes used it's used and it's done right so every code has to um, be unique so I typed in all this it was all caps so I typed it in and I'm gonna click finish Okay, but again, oops, see, it doesn't even like me. Contact 24 7 and provide this message. The user does not have permission to create or modify subscriptions. I'm not even sure what that means. Oops, I figured out the trouble. It was a problem with my account. Long story. It's because I'm a faculty member. It wouldn't be something that happens to you. Anyway, so I. I entered my code and I clicked finish and it takes me here and it says you're done. Please um, check your email for a registration confirmation so they should be sending something to my email. It says this is my course. It says this is my account information. Da da da. And there's my account ID. Ta da. And it says then I can go to my course. So I'm going to click on that. And there's my course. And see there I am. I'm the instructor and I'm a student. It's a crazy world we live in. All right. So I click on that course and I'm in, right? And there it is. And I can click homework and be able to do homework right here. See, click on an assignment and so on. Now, if you're wondering, hey, where can she get, um, give me help on how to do an assignment? Oopsie. Let me just show you. On my um, channel, my YouTube channel, Tucky Alana J. On YouTube where you're probably finding this video in the first place um, up here on the playlists I have my math lab for face-to-face -face students see right there you can click on that and I've got a bunch of videos that'll help you um, do problems in there and I can always make more if, if you let me know you need something so you can email me so that's how to do that let me log out just for a second oh let me show you how to get back so you go to courses you click on courses and it'll take you back to your list of courses which in this case is only one and then I can sign out signing out all right so then I say okay I want to get back in oopsie and then I need a password okay sign in and that's it okay so let me sign out again and show you how so you go to mymathlab.com right so normally da 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 you go to mymathlab.com. After you've registered the first time, you click login. It'll take you here. You sign in as who you are. And click sign in. And there you go. And it knows what class you've got. And you click on that. And you're in the class. Right? Ta-da! That's it. All right, so that's how to register and get started using my math lab. And be sure to check out more of my videos for more help on how to do homework and how to do problems, etc. All right, I hope that was helpful for you. See you later. Bye-bye.